Today is Italy day and we're gonna be making pizza. We're gonna get a chance to make our own individual sized pizzas so you get to choose exactly what toppings are on your pizza. Hi everyone and welcome back to Cooking with Kaylee and Teresa. Today we're going to be making pizza. Pizza was originated in Naples, Italy. And what's great about pizza is that you can put any ingredients on top and they're going to taste great. So today what you'll need is one pizza dough and some flour so that it doesn't stick as you're trying to stretch it. You're going to need mozzarella if you'd like. And some of the toppings we're going to use are pepperoni, olives, mushrooms, and tomato sauce. A few of the tools you're gonna need today are a cheese grater to grate your cheese, for parents a knife or a chopper for younger children, some measuring cups or measuring spoons, or both, a cutting board, a cookie sheet or pizza pan, and you're also going to need use of an oven. Okay everyone, now we're going to go ahead and take some time to tie up our hair for boys, girls, and parents with long hair, and make sure we go wash our hands really perfectly before we touch any of the ingredients. Okay, so now we wash our hands and we're ready to go. So first you want to sprinkle your cutting board with flour and you want to cut or rip your pizza dough into fours. I'm going to use a knife. You just want to cut down the dough and then glide your knife through it. It might not go all the way through so you can rip it. And then you want to turn it over so you get more flour on it and you want to cut it again. This is great if you have multiple kids, everyone can have their own little bit of dough and play around with it. We're going to be making circles today with our pizza dough, but you can do any shape you'd like. Okay, so now we're going to get a little bit more flour. I'm going to use a tablespoon. That's what one tablespoon of flour looks like. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on the counter. Now you wanna get one piece of dough, one at a time, and you want to spread it around and start to knead it. So you want, okay, so then you can press your dough flat against the flour. If you find that it's not really working on the counter, it's not spreading out as much as you'd like for it to, you can lift it up, you can grab two ends, and you can keep on stretching it. Once it's your desired shape, you can set it aside and start with another piece. Now that you've stretched out your dough, you can go ahead and preheat your oven by putting it to bake at three, five, zero or 350 degrees Fahrenheit on your oven. Now that our oven is preheated, you're going to take your cookie sheet or pizza pan, depending on what you're using, and you can either spray it with cooking spray or line it with a parchment paper, like we're gonna be doing today. Once you've lined it or sprayed it, you're going to add your pizza dough onto your sheets. You can fit about two per cookie sheet, like this and just set it aside while we get the rest of the ingredients ready. Now you wanna grate your mozzarella. So we have a grater and a mozzarella. So you wanna have a firm grip on the grater so it doesn't move. You wanna get the mozzarella, put it right at the top and push down. So after you've reached the bottom, you just go back to the top and you go back down again. Keep repeating this action until you have the desired amount of cheese. And then once you lift your cheese grater, you will see all of the cheese strings that you have. Now we're gonna take our mushrooms and we're gonna start by slicing them. First thing you wanna do is either cut out or pull out the stem. Pull it out and that way it can sit flat on the cutting board and I'm gonna use our knife and we're gonna try slicing really skinny slices. Just keep slicing. 
And remember to keep your fingers away from the knife and push away after you cut down. So I'm gonna cut down and push. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it with the chopper. So same thing, we're gonna push down and away. We have already purchased our pepperoni pre-sliced. So if your grocery store offers that, you can always go with pre-sliced pepperoni or slice it the same way as we sliced our mushrooms in really thin slices. Okay, so now we're going to grab one cup and our tomato sauce and we're going to fill it up right to the top and then we want to pour it into our bowl. If your tomato sauce is a little chunky, feel free to add a little bit of olive oil, just drizzle it on top. Then you can use a fork or a spoon just to stir it around so all the ingredients can mix together. So if you like thin pizza crust, feel free to grab a fork and poke holes into the pizza dough. And just put it in all the desired spots. I'm going to go around the pizza dough because that's where the dough is the thickest. Now it's time to add the tomato sauce. So you just wanna put it in the middle and then go in circles to spread out the tomato sauce. And then you can bring it to all the corners. Now it's time for cheese. So you can just use your hands and sprinkle it on top. I really like cheese, so I'm going to put a lot. And cover it up completely. Okay. Now for our pepperoni. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the slices and just pat it down wherever I like. You can make a pattern, a shape, you can make a smiley face, or just put it wherever you want, as much as you want, anywhere on your pizza. So I'm gonna make kind of a circle with my pepperoni slices. So mine looks like this. Now it's time for our mushrooms. So in all the spots that are open, you can just grab a mushroom, put it on the dough and press it down. Because once the pizza cooks, if it's on top of the cheese, it will start to melt and it will all stick together. Feel free to add all your favorite toppings. Once all your toppings are on, your pizza is now ready for the oven. Our pizza is now ready, so we're gonna make sure we put on our oven mitts. Grab our tray. We're gonna open the door all the way open, and we're gonna put our pizza inside. Push it all the way in with your oven mitts, and then close the door all the way shut. Cook pizza until golden brown. Allow about 20 to 25 minutes. Now that our pizza is ready, we're gonna make sure to turn off our stove, put our oven mitts on, open the door all the way open, and we're gonna use our oven mitts to grab the tray, take it out and place it on top of the counter. Then we're gonna make sure we keep our oven mitts on and close the door all the way shut. Make sure once you're putting the tray on the counter that there's no towels around or anything that will burn and it's still very hot, so don't touch it with your bare hands. Now that our pizza is ready and cooled down, you can put it on a plate, cut it, and it's ready to eat. Grazie or thank you for watching and I hope your pizza was delicious.